Ratings and reviews are a way of life. Nobody wants to eat at a restaurant that receives low scores from the health board, just like nobody wants to buy a car that gets terrible reviews. Well, healthcare is no different. Patients want to know their providers get great reviews and are exceptional at what they do. In today's video, we're going to look at how your performance is measured. What really goes into that calculation that's displayed in Equip every month? Equip is like a high-tech calculator. The platform constantly receives patient eligibility information, along with prescription drug claims from pharmacy benefits managers and medical claims data from health plans. That's an easy way to say Equip processes a lot of data. Patient name, age, gender, medication type, strength, quantity dispensed, and day supply. Once all that information enters the system, Equip validates it across all partnering payers. Then, all the data gets put into a formula developed by a measure development organization. Numerator divided by denominator equals performance. So, what goes into the denominator? If a patient's data aligns with the measure, it'll be used in the qualifying patient population. The numerator represents patients who are meeting the intent of the measure. For example, Patients who are adherent and take their diabetes medication divided by patients who have diabetes medications prescribed. That number is then aggregated across the board to give you your final performance score. Sounds simple, right? Well, there's always caveats. What happens if your patient winters in Florida? Who gets credit for filling his prescriptions? The pharmacy in Florida or his home pharmacy? In the healthcare world, there is a name for this situation. It's called patient attribution. Patients must be attributed to a given pharmacy based on industry-endorsed methodology. There are two types of attribution, encounters and events. The encounter-based methodology applies to our example. If the Florida pharmacy received more claims with the patient than the hometown pharmacy, then the Florida pharmacy wins, and that patient gets attributed to that pharmacy. In short, with encounter-based attribution, whoever provides the most care gets the patient attributed to them. Then we have event-based methodology. It's when a certain trigger happens. The pharmacy that completes the job gets attributed to the patient. So if a patient is dealing with an emergency medical situation, the pharmacy who handles that patient gets credit for handling his event. That's how your monthly performance calculations are scored. We talked about what goes into the numerator, we talked about what goes into the denominator, and how patients are attributed to certain pharmacies. Now, we do want you to be aware that performance information is reconciled over time, which includes claims that may be reversed or resubmitted. So Equip is constantly working to update information so you get the best known data for each measure period. So we need your help. We want to make sure that you're getting credit for the work that you're doing. We receive updates on a regular basis from health plans and pharmacy benefit managers, so proper billing is of utmost importance. Whenever you bill a claim to another carrier or to a discount card or even just fill it for cash, those claims often don't make it to the carrier and you don't get credit. As a result, your performance scores can be negatively impacted. So, be sure to bill your prescriptions appropriately and in a timely manner so you get credit for your work. In our next video, we're going to talk to you about outliers. But before I let you go, please follow the instructions on your screen. These are your next steps.